Manchester United nullified Bayern for 20 minutes, but their own mistakes gave Bayern the control of the game. When the Germans tried to play out from the back, Hoylund pressed to the centre-backs, while Eriksen and Bruno Fernandes were close to Koretska and Kimmich. Rashford and Pellistri were close to them and also they tried to cover the passing lines to Bayern's fullbacks. and Casemiro was marking to Musiala. When Kimmich dropped back, Bruno Fernandes followed him and this created a space behind United's midfielders. For that reason Musiala dropped back to this space, however Casemiro followed him. The times Hoylund couldn't press to one centre-back, Harry Kane dropped back to create a passing line. Rashford tried to cover the space, but this free Bayern's fullback. Sané moved inside to the space between Martinez and Reguilon, and this complicated United's defensive line. Nevertheless, Bayern Munich had troubles when the centre-backs had the ball because Manchester United was covering really well the midfield. For that reason, Kimmich had to drop back. Casemiro and Bruno Fernandes exchanged positions, but when Kimmich received the ball, Bruno Fernandes left free to Musiala. As he received with time and space, he could turn and played a great ball to Nabri, who moved inside between United's centre backs. However, Licha Martinez stopped him. This type of mistakes gave Bayern the control of the game and Man United had to defend deeper. Upamecano took the ball to Man United's half and he played with Sané. They had a 2 vs 2 on this side, but Sané was faster than Rashford and Regidon. Also Eriksen wasn't aggressive to go over him and he played with Kane. As he had Licha Martinez over him, he played backwards to Sané who was free because nor Eriksen, Rashford or Reguilon followed him. As he received with time and space he shot and Onana helped him to score. After a few minutes Bayern scored a similar goal. Davis received the ball and Casemiro tried to cover Pelistri. However Musiala moved away from him and this gave him space. Eriksen and Casemiro weren't aggressive to stop him and he took the ball to United's box. Dalot couldn't stop him and Nabri was free because the midfielders were left behind by Musiala. When Manchester United tried to play out from the back, Goretzka joined the pressing over Casemiro and Eriksen, but Casemiro made smart movements because he moved behind him. He was the free player, but Onana didn't play with him. Also this time Eriksen and Regulon created a 2 vs 1 over Sané, but Onana didn't play with them. In the build-up Casemiro joined the centre-backs while the fullbacks moved to the midfield. Usually they were free but Onana didn't play with them and he decided to play long. However Upamecano and Kim Min Jae were outstanding. The times Dalot dropped back, Regilon moved inside close to the midfielders. On the other hand, Kimmich and Goretzka were aggressive over Casemiro and Eriksen, that's why United couldn't progress through the central channels. It was better for Eriksen and Casemiro when they received oriented to the sides because Kimmich and Goretzka couldn't press them. Regulon and Rashford created a 2 vs 1 over Bayern's fullback, however Bayern's centre-backs stopped them. Man United progressed when Dalot and Regulon moved inside because Dalot received behind Bayern's first line of pressure and he took the ball to the midfield. Reguilon moved inside to the central channels to attract Bayern's midfielders and fullback and this free rush forth. Nevertheless, Manchester United started to give away easy balls. This time Kane received the ball and played to Musiala who ran to the space. Furthermore, the fullbacks started to play poorly, because when Onana played with them, they didn't progress with the ball, but instead they played backwards. It was different when one midfielder moved to the sides and played with the wingers. As soon as the second half started, Manchester United was more aggressive. After a cross, Dalot pressed in the second ball. Casemiro played a great ball to Rashford, who came from behind. 
he played with Hoylund, who scored. However, Bayern Munich was patient and smart to take advantage of United's mistakes. The wingers still moved between United's center backs and full backs. Also, Musiala advanced through United's midfielders easily. Moreover, Manchester United still gave away easy balls, and this helped Bayern to create many chances. Marshall and Garnacho gave another dynamic to Man United's attack. That's why they could take the ball to the final third. Bruno played a smart ball to Rashford. Casemiro came from behind and scored. However, Manchester United kept doing the same mistakes. McTominay, Rashford and Garnacho weren't aggressive over Kimmich. That's why he had time and space. Casemiro lost to Tell and when Lindelof tried to catch him, it was late. Ten Hag had a plan to nullify it, Bayern, but there's a difference between Manchester United and top teams like Bayern, Real Madrid or Manchester City. The difference is that the players of those teams don't make mistakes. Leave your thoughts about this game, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. This video is brought to you by Play by Metrica Sports, the fundamental tool for every coach and analyst. Create and manage all your video analysis in one platform.